Hello, my name Hi. is Mark. Hi, I'm Kushin. This is my partner. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi, Minji. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Alright, thanks. Hi, Mark. Um, <clears throat> I know that you are very talented and you feel confident to be competent to our this uh, crucial position in our company. So can you explain more details why you can fit as well? Well, sure. Um, mm -hmm. The first reason I think I would see it is that I have three PhDs in the related field to your products. I had PhD in mechanical engineering, in computer science, and in literature. And the second reason is that I think I am a fast learner. I learn things and pick up concepts very fast. Um, for example, when I was in my school studies, uh, once Apple has launched a, a new coding language named Swift, mm -hmm. and I learned that language within one month, and then applied that language in the uh, auto control energy saving system for university. I coded the whole system. And uh, the fact that I gained those three PhD uh, degrees within uh, five years, which is a short period, mm -hmm. I think that's also a proof of my fast learning ability. Yeah. And the third reason, I think it should be my ability to solve problems. I am a problem solver. For example, when I was in my graduate school study uh, in my mechanical engineering lab, I always see people that doing this identical, repeated jobs just using their hands. So what I did is just I used the language, I uh, used the knowledge I learned to generate a little machine that can help people to improve their efficiency and to generate all those works by themselves. So I think my problem solving ability really helped our mechanical lab improve a lot of efficiency. So mm -hmm. I believe those three reasons will be why I think I fit your job very Oh, that sounds really cool. And um, do you have some questions, maybe? And um, hello, Mark. We know you are a fresh graduate, and can you identify any challenges and risks if you join our company, such as picking up the technology in such a short time? Well, um, the largest problem I think it should be I had no previous working experience in a startup company, but I won't take that as a serious issue. Because first, as I mentioned, I'm a fast learner. I can pick up the concepts and learn things very fast. And the second is that even though I didn't have working experience in a startup, I do have work experience with uh, large um, automotive manufacturer companies. When I was in my graduate study, our research lab had this long-term R&D cooperation with that manufacturer. And um, from that experience, I can I gained a lot of knowledge about how a product is developed, how R and D researches can be finished within the time frame. So I think um, that non-experience wouldn't be a very serious issue. Yeah. Great. Okay, so we're happy to see that you're pretty aware of challenges you're facing right now. So that's a zoom that you have convictions with our CEO. So about the process of product launch. So how would you deal with that? Well, thank you. That's a relative hard problem. If I have conflict with the CEO, I would say first I'll try my best to explain my idea and try to persuade him. But I believe every important decision made by the company uh, will be taken by voting by the whole man management team. And then if the majority of the team think that my idea is not the best solution, I will obey the team and reserve my own opinion to myself. So um, that's probably, probably the way I solve this problem. And But I just don't think that kind of situation would happen so frequently because I will always try my best to do the best decision for the product. Yeah. Okay, and we, we know that you have great technical skills, which is what we need right now. But we are also expecting you to lead the team to develop the product. So teamwork and leadership is very important here. Then, and I've noted that you have many leadership experience. Can you tell me more about your leadership skills in details and also how you would like to apply these skills in managing the team? Um, well, I would like to use the example when we were cooperating with that large automotive manufacturer. Um, when I, I was the 
team leader of the actual research and develop student team. And I was the person who identified the strengths of our team members and allocated resource and uh, distribute the tasks to them. And I was the person who listened to you, listen to their weekly reports and then helped them to tackle the problem they encountered. And uh, I was also the person who um, mediate the conflicts they encountered between themselves. So um, I think that would be one of the uh, example to show my leadership skill. And besides that, I also have the management experience in our school club. I was the president of our student committee and under my leadership, uh, I think our school club became one of the most successful student club among all those organizations in our schools. So that could be another proof. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds really great. So that you can be a good leader in our company. Um, I heard that you have hold of uh, so many great appealing offers from Google and Apple. So why do you choose us as a startup? Um, I believe the reason I choose you is that I have, I think your product has a lot of potential in the future. Mm -hmm. And I'm very passionate about this automobile, uh, automobile industry. And I have faith about the future success in your company. And that's why I hold off all those offers from Google and Apple, even though they are very good offers. But I choose to work with you. Well, congratulations. You have found a team in which we all have passion and faith for our future and development. And we have got a lot of questions for you. So do you have any questions for us you are curious about? Um, my largest problem should be um, my future benefits that I can get from your company after I join you. For mm -hmm. example, salary, bonus, or any other future you know, benefit payment methods? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good question. As you just mentioned, you choose us for interest and your, uh, your passion and enthusiasm. Well, I mean, as a startup, I know you may deserve higher salary and maybe Google and Apple can pay you higher salary and benefit for you right now. But why not just you prove how much benefit you can provide for us and then take what you deserve? So uh, we, as a startup, we all have passion and faith, but we all take minimum salary right now. But as long as you uh, run this product up and bring some benefits for us, we make some uh, great achievement, you will all, of course get much more benefit than your expectation. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask more details about, uh, even though perhaps the salary is not as what I expected, but in mm -hmm. the future, will there be any, uh, any other forms of payment that will come in? Or will you like raise the total amount in the future? Yeah, of course. As long as we touch our sales goals in the first year, we will double your salary. And we also will uh, give you some extra stock rise if, after the IPO. Uh, but that will depend on the evaluation of your performance and contribution conducted by our HR department. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you have any questions? Um, no, I think okay. that would be all. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very it much. It was very nice to have you today. Uh, we will. Uh, uh, inform our fan session in the following three days. Thank you. Thank you.